Hello. <laughs> Hi. They told me about the organization here, so I wanted to come and chat with you and like, yeah, hang out for a little while. Yeah, we lot. really, yeah, we're really excited that you're here. I am the newly elected president of Identity LGBTQ Community Center. As a teen and coming out, we didn't have like a, a gay youth center yeah. in my town. Um, that would have been really cool at the time. Yeah. I don't even know if I would have been super comfortable going there yet, but it would have right. been nice to even to know. To have that, right? Right. We'd love to be open longer and more hours and things like that, you know, but we have survived solely on LGBTQ queer people. So, but ultimately, this center mm -hmm. needs more support from yeah. this community. Yeah, well, I mean. In any way that we can get any it. Any way we can get it. And I'll tell you, mm -hmm. I, I'm hoping, part of us being here, mm -hmm. is we want to help build that community. Like, what you're doing with this center yeah. and bringing people together, we also want to do that. That's... And the best way we know to do that yeah. is with a show. Oh, right. I've and never I don't wanna... done a show, though. I've never, ever even done, like, I've never done drag. I've never. Come stand up, stand up uh -oh. with me. Uh -oh. Come on, we're gonna see how much, where am I working <laughs> from? Huh? Okay, you wanna keep up with me? We at the family barbecue. That's the beat, okay? And now, huh, oh, you kicked it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you can keep it better. Okay, I now you. I know yeah. what I'm working with, okay. A little bit, a little bit. So, what kind of drag would you like to see on stage? So, I, I live my life as a woman, right? Yes. But I dress more masculine every day, all day. Even at work, I, I got misgendered when I first got here uh, by professionals. That so, has to be like a jarring yeah, experience. Yeah, it was really jarring. And I mean, that's a constant thing, an everyday thing in my life. Like I went to the um, store the other day, she asked for my ID and I gave her the ID. It's just a little double take. And I was like, oh, I know, I got this baby face. Yeah, you know, <laughs> come on, sis, just give it I'm a I'm 33, minute. just, yeah. And so she's like, no, no, it's just, you look like a man on this ID. And I was like, oh, <laughs> it's probably because I have my short hair, but right. like how? How are you going? But you know what I also think about, in addition to us, mm -hmm our trans brothers and sisters too. Same thing. That it's your full identity. You work so hard to realize, you know, come into who you are supposed to be in this world and who right. you meant you were born to be. And then you have to face, you know, being misgendered. Right. I think I just need to, I don't know, learn how to respond. I think that being misgendered greatly affects Nicole. You can just feel it. And when you're misgendered, it just knocks you down. I want to give Nicole a performance that has meaning as a proud, out, lesbian person who is a leading person in this community who embraces her femininity but still holds strong to who she is as a male-presenting lesbian, right? And it's gonna be fun. You sure? With, uh, no. <laughs> it's gonna be horrible. It's me, girl. I'm being nice now. When it comes to showtime, okay, I'm like, okay. yeah! All okay, right. come on. Okay. Let me get a couple of these condoms. Oh, you're going to take the female ones? <laughs> well, yeah, I'm going to practice at home. Okay. Safe sex, everybody. <laughs> Hallelujah.